Okay, let's do the next game. And how far do I want to go back? I want to go back here. Okay. And this is, uh, let me do a marker. This is played uh, on the 9th. So this is three days ago between Gukesh and Abasov or Abasov or something. Uh, Gukesh, Abasov. Okay, so this position, if both sides play perfectly, it's probably a draw. And Abasov played perfectly. He still lost. Okay, because chess is hard. Okay, so white's in check. White played king g2. The engine actually prefers king e2. Black checked. Checked. And king e2. And this is actually quite funny. Uh, when I used to give lessons to Matt Larson a long time ago, a lot of things we discussed where we didn't agree was when the engine says some move is the best move and we're trying to play better, we're trying to play engine moves instead of bad moves. And pretty often Matt Larson would say to me, yeah, but no human's going to play that. So that's okay. Like he was arguing the engine move is the best, but humans can't find that move. So if he makes a bad move, that's okay. And he's right if humans can't find that move. And there's a lot of positions where the engine shows a move and just nobody's going to play it. No, nobody. And sometimes when he said that, I didn't agree. I thought a human could find the move. So we argued about it. Okay. Now here's the position where Matt Larson's on the money. Okay, if you're not using an engine, you're not going to find the best move for black. If you are using an engine, then you will. And I don't think any human would ever play this move. The one that, and black did not play that move because black, you know, people aren't cheating. So what do you guys think is the best move for black? If you want to be right, make sure you're using an engine. And according to Stockfish 16 at depth 36, this is by far the best move. It's not even close. B Swizzle 24, he got it. He's too good. H4 is the second best move. King H8 is the best move. And I guess the obvious reason, although I still, is I can take this pawn and you can't take with check. Although I would argue then why aren't you playing king h7? Explaining to me why king h7 is worse than king h8, that would take some explaining. Or king g7. I mean, king h8 being the best, well, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. So he played g5. Um, which is not the best move, but black wants to get counterplay. Okay. E4 is the best move. And both players played the best moves forever here. Very impressive. All these moves are the best move. N no mistakes. It's like two engines are playing. Queen H2 is the only move. Queen H3 is the only move. Always repeat. Every move is the best. That's the best. Every move. Perfect play. And in this position, Black has one move that draws, and he found it. I'm not saying he drew, but, you know, it's... Black's playing fantastic this endgame. Okay, and this is the guy who doesn't even belong in the tournament. And he plays perfect every move, and he still loses.
Man, chess is hard. Played h3. That's the only move that draws. And again, he played the only move that draws in this position. Queen h5 check actually is mate for white. Played queen a2. That's the only drawing move. And then the only way to draw is to trade queens. And this is a draw and end game. King h6 is the only move that draws. All other king moves lose. And in this position, he blundered. Then his opponent blundered. And then he blundered. And again, it's move 82. They've been playing for six hours plus. They both have less than three minutes. Yay, $9.57. Thank you. Thanks for the donation. And he blundered here, and then Gukesh blundered, and then Abasov blundered, and then it was over. The only move that draws is king h7. And black played king h5, and white has one winning move, which he didn't find. Probably the most obvious move, which is queen c5 check. It's the only check. Well, queen e2 is check, but that seems sort of passive. And now the engine calculates that white can trade queens or give mate. And I can show you the engine line. Like, this is best moves for both sides. And this queen and pawn ending is winning. Not, not obvious that it's winning, but it is. Okay. And white played king f5, which is a mistake. And, and black has one move that draws. And in my opinion, I could be wrong. If Abasov played this move, he would have drawn. I think this is the last tough move. He didn't, so he lost. And I think after this move, it's sort of easy to play black. It's easier. Like, it's hard to play black before. After the right move here, I don't think Gukesh can, can even try to win. I think it's too drawn. But he played the wrong move and he lost. Black to play and draw. Let's see who gets it in the chat. JAA928 is correct as usual. Queen G2. And after Queen G2, white doesn't have any checks. And black's going to start checking forever. I mean, the white king is just open and I can just keep checking it. After queen g2, I think it's a pretty easy draw. I think black checking forever is pretty easy to do. But he blundered, played queen f1 check, and now he's losing. Queen f4, and now white's winning. And after queen g4 check, white only has one move that wins. And white has four legal moves. And one of them wins, and the other three don't win. So sometimes when there's only one winning idea, the players find it, and sometimes they don't. What's the only winning move for white? Favor four is correct. At least the chat understands it. Queen e5. Now if the queen moves to a random square, white's threatening checkmate and checkmate. So probably black should give check. And he does. Both king moves win. He played one of them. Now if king h6, queen h2 is going to be mate soon. So he, if you play king g4, queen f5 check wins. So you play king here. And now he resigned because after king h3, queen f5 check trades queens. So very tough game for Abasov who was holding the draw from this worst position for quite a long time, but ended up losing in 87 moves. Actually, he, he did play king h3, queen f5 check, and then he resigned. The truth hurts.